last part, you know, first shot the offense scores, first shot defense uh, forces a, a, a punt. Um, you can't start any better than that. Um, when do you think it turned in the momentum turned in Illinois' favor? No idea. What can the defense do to get back to playing at the UW standard that you guys are used to? Just sure. gotta play uh, assignment football. Everybody do their job, and then we'll be all right. This is something that's caught you by surprise a little, just because of how much success you guys have had on the wins over the years. So, did you something pop up in the last few weeks that kind of made you realize that everything is going to be pretty good? No, um, I believe in my guys 100%. Uh, I love I love going to war every every Saturday with my team, and I'll do it. I think as one of the leaders of this team, just what, what's this locker room like right now after a couple of disappointing losses? And I know there's a lot of time left in the season, but just what, what's the vibe right now? Uh, pissed off. Um, obviously, it sucks to sucks to lose, um, but uh, pissed off. Nick, you guys have talked a lot about responding after the Ohio State loss. Now people are saying after this loss, responding as a captain on this team. Better football. Nick, how do you guys, do you think it was more of an execution issue or more of a game plan issue heading out this game as to how Illinois well think you guys have uh, uh, Definitely execution. Um, I believe my coaches, I believe my players um, had a good plan and we just didn't finish. Is it difficult to, when you think you got off the field and you see a flag and it's a PI call and Illinois gets you life. Is it difficult to, to maintain your focus and keep them out of the end zone when, when they keep getting second chances because of uh, penalties? No, nah, not really. Um, you know, we're we're kind of used to that. Uh, that's kind of Wisconsin football, man. Uh, it's us against the world. Uh, it's been that way. It's going to keep continuing to be that way. So I'm not, it doesn't phase me at all. Um, Do you think the penalties hurt, though, giving uh, them extra I mean, chances? I think, I think penalties hurt no matter if it's on special teams, defense, or offense. Okay. We don't want to have penalties. You said, you were tick, you said you were ticked off. You seem actually kind of angry. How do you channel that forward? I just got to point to my teammates, um, be a leader for this team. Uh, I love you guys. I love them. I love them. Do you think there was any sort of carryover effect from the Ohio State game, anything like that, or did that have any impact at all? Not at all. Is there any personal improvement you think you can do to get to the Just be a better football player. At, at times like this, being one of the captains, is this a, can you just speak to the, the challenge maybe it puts on, on you as a leader? Is this probably the toughest position you've been in as, as a, being a leader on the team, trying to help you get, get out of this? Yeah, um, obviously as a captain, you know, you're, you're assigned to be the leader of this team. Um, you know, and when things don't go your way, you kind of feel like, you know, you failed, but I'm just gonna continue to keep doing what I do. Uh, I'm gonna come out. I promise I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing every every single play. I promise my team is gonna swing every single play. Um, we don't look at the scoreboard. We don't listen to people behind us that are sitting in the bleachers. Um, we're just gonna go out there and we're gonna swing. Is this as frustrated as you've been since you've been with the program? Um, uh, there's a lot of frustrating times, but it's definitely really frustrating. One more here, guys. Thanks, Nick. Thanks. Thank you, Nick.